I'm Fire Chief Andy Anderson from St. Mary's, Ontario, Canada, and you're watching the Frontport Show! Hello, hello, the Frontport Show! We're set to go, the Frontport Show! Hello, hello, we're set to go, on with the Frontport Show. It's Dynamo, the Frontport Show! Magnifico, the Frontport Show! It's Dynamo, Magnifico, on with the Frontport Show. We'll share a laugh or two Big smiles for me and you Hello, hello The Front Porch Show We're set to go The Front Porch Show Hello, hello We're set to go on with The Front Porch Show Welcome to Season 5 the Front Porch Show. Who would have thought that when we started in 2017, that we'd still be going in 2021, Don? Not I. No, this has been fantastic, Don. Our usual format is doing the show live in Cadzo Park, but unfortunately, last year we tried doing a, three shows on Zoom, and they sort of worked and didn't. Uh, so we're trying something new this year where we're going to be videoing everything and putting it together like a TV show. So Woo! it's so it's it will be something a new challenge and we hope you enjoy the show. Uh, we still can't have a live audience, Don, but we're so we're going to try something different of uh, as new. Uh, we're using video, as I said, and uh, there are some advantages we're doing. Like for example, if we want to have everybody cheer, we can. <laughs> And who knows, the, even some people might laugh at my jokes. For example, Don, on the Waltons, who cuts the grass? Oh my God. I don't know, John. Who cuts the grass on the Waltons? Lawn Boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, Johnny, it's nice to be back. I mean, and welcome back to the audience uh, for the Front Porch Show. Beautiful. We Well, we have someone... Beautiful, uh, uh, four-legged, uh, beautiful uh, uh, dog, I suppose. I can't see. Yeah, that is a dog. Oh. So who's your friend, Johnny? Her name's Taya, Taya. And, and she belongs to Janina and Greg in town here. Uh, as you know, one of the traditions we have on the Front Porch Show is to always have a dog on the show. And so we have Taya this week, and we hope to have maybe dogs every week and different ones to show all the beautiful dogs on the show. Taya, you're a beautiful girl, aren't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> so, now, the, the sponsor for the show this week is Jacob's Liquidation. And uh, through the magic of video, we're going right to the store right now to see Craig. Craig, how are you doing? Hey. Good, John. Craig, we'd like to thank you for sponsoring this episode of the Front Board Show. Hey, we appreciate all you guys do. And when we moved into St. Mary's, we wanted to support this town. You've certainly done that. What tell us what hours are you open? Uh Thursdays we're now open twelve to five. Friday is ten till six and Saturdays ten to four. Thanks again for sponsoring the, this episode of the Front Porch Show. Thanks, John. We appreciate you. It's uh, been quite a year since we did our Zoom shows last year. Don, uh, how's the pandemic affected you? Well, how has it not affected me, John? I mean, everything in my life is different. I mean, I'm working from home now as opposed to an office. I did some renovations in my home, built a deck, got a hot tub. It's It's been quite the year. And actually, you know, in some ways it's been great. In other ways, I'm really looking forward to getting out and getting back to meeting people again. I hear you had some celebrities in your hot tub. Yeah, well, you know, they go nameless, but, uh, you know, they needed therapy for their hip, you know. They were not feeling all that great from an accident that they had back in December. Right. And, Frank, how's it been for you? Oh, it's been just one great thing after another, John. Just let me show you something. I want to show the front porch show audience something. Uh... Ow! What what legs? Well, I I, I, I had a varicose vein uh, operation last week. Um, I was in an auto accident at uh, uh, Christmas time, just before Christmas, uh, and uh, I, I, everything seems to be getting a little bit better. But while I was healing, you might say, I I wrote a song called "Going Banana Nuts." Now, I'm hoping that when people hear this, that they'll like it, and it, it is on YouTube, by the way. So 
Would you like to hear it? Would you yeah, like I'll have, have a listen, it, Frank. Okay. okay, here it is, going banana nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that song everybody but you know it looks like we might have turned a corner and things are improving every day so my hope is in the next little while hopefully that we'll go banana nuts but we'll go banana nuts in a normal banana nut way if you banana nut know what banana nuts is so i'm happy that everything is starting to look a little bit better and uh the front porch show we wish everybody a quick return to Normalcy. One of the things we're trying new this year, we're going to be sending uh, our roving reporter Don Van Galen out, out, the, out in the town to ask the question of the week. Uh, Don, what's happening this week? Well, it's kind of a surprise, John, and I have to go get ready and, and get things r- set up for you. So I'll be back really quickly. Okay. While Don is getting to his destination, let's break for a commercial. I'm Jay Davidov, and I watched the front porch show from Istanbul, Turkey. Hi, I'm Craig, one of the owners here at Jacob's Liquidation in St. Mary's. Come on in and let me show you around. We have everything you need for your home, whether it's appliances, furniture, housewares, we have clothing and shoes and towels and mats, health products, hair products, whatever you need. We probably have it and a whole lot more. But I'm going to tell you the truth. Some of the stuff when you come here won't be here. Our products are so well priced, stuff doesn't sit around long here. Every time you come here, it's a complete 
completely different experience as we get thousands of new products every single week. So come on in to Jacob's Liquidation at 34 Wellington Street North in St. Mary's. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and also sign up for our email newsletter so you never miss a deal. Hello, this is Mara Hajan from Syrian Bacon and you are watching the Front Bar Show. Okay, Don, where are you? Well, John, through the magic of video, I am here at the St. Mary's Tennis Courts and I'm spending some time with the Social Tennis Club and we've got a great question of the week for them. Right now, the Lotto Max Millions is at $70 million and we're going to ask them, if you couldn't spend the money on yourself, how would you spend that money in the town of St. Mary's to make this a better place? Probably give it towards the schools, get them up with their like sports equipment and stuff like that because like I really love playing sports and I know that some of the schools don't have the greatest equipment and I think it's good to get people out and play and stuff like that. So. Well, that's a great idea. Are there any sports in particular that you would want the town of St. Mary's to add to their program? Like, you got to get out there and play some tennis, get them some good rackets, get some balls that aren't dollar store <laughs> well that sounds like a great idea Gwen thanks a lot yeah no problem well Peter what do you think how would you spend 70 million dollars in the town of St. Mary's 70 million I would put a cover on this uh, tennis facility here I'd have Rafa Nadell come and give us lessons a uh, hot tub over in the corner everything tennis we could spend 70 million dollars don't you think I'm all for that. James, welcome. James, how would you spend your $70 million? Uh, I think that I would definitely build like a big sports center where you could do uh, indoor volleyball, uh, floor hockey, just any kind of sport like that you could do. Um, I think that there's not enough of those centers around, and if there are, it's uh, far too expensive to join those leagues. So I think that's what I would spend my money on. How would you spend your $70 million, Hazel? Well, the aquatics in St. Mary's have always been great for me, so I definitely put a bit of money in there. Uh, the quarry is a great place. Maybe add a little water park in there, go in and out. It'd be great. All right, we're here with Joel Lozano, and we're asking him, how would you spend your $70 million, Joel? Well, $70 million, that's quite a lot of money. Um, thinking about the town, there's that McDonald's coming, and honestly, I just give it to, I just use my money to buy McDonald's for everyone in town, whatever they want from McDonald's, I'd buy that for them. Well, Joel, I think, I think you probably could buy McDonald's themselves, right? You could, you could have your own McDonald's stand. Is there any other businesses that you'd like to see that would cater to your whims? Uh, probably more like nightclubs downtown. I know a lot of people my age love nightclubs, so probably bring one of those to town. Well, John, we certainly got a lot of answers from our young people here playing tennis today. And of course, a lot of them want sports and they want to, to be more active. And I really get that. But I think what this town could really use is a large place for entrepreneurs to build and grow their businesses right from the ground up. Get some coaching, get some capital, get a roof over their heads, a desk, a computer, and really start something great and be the next Bill Gates. Don, thank you for those valuable insights. We'll see you back at the Front Porch Show soon. Hi, I'm Lucy Stevens, and I'm with Mama Queen, and we sell raw honey here at the St. Mary's Market, and you're watching the Front Porch Show. If you're wanting something clean, shout out Cascades. Cascades! If you're wanting something clean, shout out Cascades. Cascades! A suit, to tie, a wedding dress, there's not a stain we can't address. If you're wanting something clean, shout out Cascade. Cascade. Is it personal or commercial? It's Cascade. Cascade. Is it personal or commercial? It's Cascade. Cascade. If it's cotton wool or suede, manufactured or handmade, is it personal or commercial? It's Cascade. Cascade. 34 Water Street South is where to go. 34 Water Street South is where you go. Got a problem? Don't you cuss it. Contact us and we'll discuss it. Call 519-284-1390. Almost got it. Anyways, call us. Cascades. So hello everybody. 
Uh, I'm living in Cambodia, and I watch the front porch show. Our first guest does something really, really extraordinary. His name's Harold Kuntz, and there's a lot of people that get wine kits and make wine, but Harold goes to the extra length. What Harold does is he actually grows his own grapes in St. Mary's <laughs> and <laughs> crash. And what he does is he grows his gra grapes in St. Mary's and goes from start to finish in making his own wine. Harold, how are you? Hey, I'm doing well, John. I've never met an owner of a vineyard. What's the name of it? Halo Vineyards. I thought we needed divine intervention to make wine. Tell me, how did you get into making your own wine? Well, some years ago, we uh, decided to retire. We're living out west in, in the Calgary area, and I always was interested in wine, growing wine, making wine. I'd been making wine from from kits and visiting vineyards all over Europe and uh, sort of towards getting close to my retirement uh, my son and I hopped into our van and we took our VW bus out to BC and volunteered at a vineyard and uh, for a room and board and uh, the knowledge gained that uh, we worked and uh, it was a lot of fun and uh, the man uh, the vintner was very kind and uh, gave me the ropes told me the ropes so we felt uh, let's go to an area where they grow grapes so ontario uh, was the choice so we looked for a long time didn't find anything but in between that and us going back um, the richardson bought a farm and property and on that farm was a, a house and they said we could uh, we could live there while we build and so we came out here and I said, this is perfect. I just love this. I'd love to buy it. And um, eventually, uh, four or five years later, eventually we were able to do the deal because of zoning and farm property and whatnot. But uh, we were able to buy a, a bit of the land and uh, the house. Uh, so uh, nobody goes grapes around here. Why do you? Well, that's what I wanted to do. I want to grow grapes. And so um, I, I um, found someone who would come up with a tractor and drill some holes for me. Um, I went to the Niagara, found a, a business that sold the grapes or the vines to uh, growers. And I decided to grow uh, two varieties that uh, do well in Ontario, Baco Noir and uh, Vidal. And they did really well the first year. And so the following year, I drilled more holes and put in more plants. And we went to, uh, we tried Riesling, Pinot Noir, Dornfelder, and eventually Cabernet Franc. And they all took. What are some of the considerations you have when growing grapes in St. Mary's? Ah, uh, the weather, I guess, is um, important. But then the, this area of St. Mary's is, is a wonderful agricultural area. I know they've grown fruit and berries um, apples and uh, even closer to the lake they've they've done some uh, peaches and apricots years ago so it can be done and look uh, you just take a chance you drill a hole you put something in it and you hope for the best i had the soil analyzed uh, in stratford and uh, this used to be a, um, a sheep paddock where we're now sitting where i'm sitting and where the vines are planted where the vineyard is but every hole that we drilled, something new came up. Sometimes it was nothing but boulders. Sometimes it was sand. Sometimes it was gravel. And sometimes it was beautiful black soil. And so I planted regardless. And I could see some areas of the vineyard did better than others. So, Harold, how pleased are you with the final result? Well, I'm relatively pleased. I've had it peer reviewed. I've had uh, uh, the wine club up here for various functions and we tried the Riesling and we we tried the blend and uh, Bob Latham, who is a good buddy of mine, uh, he said uh, when we opened the bottle, he said, yeah, he said, this tastes like Riesling. This is a really good effort. And that was, to me, was as good as can, it can get because Bob's a real good uh, connoisseur and he knows his stuff but uh, look uh, I'm not gonna win any awards that competing with vineyards but it's a hobby well Harold thank you for telling us about Halo Vineyards Sante
Cheers. This is this last year's rosé to your health. Welcome back, everybody. I'm with this week's mascot, Taya. Now, look, I've trained Taya to eat a dog treat. Okay, Taya, ready? Show it to me, everybody. Eat the treat. <laughs> Well, as everybody knows, you know, on the Front Porch Show, we like to feature the abundance of musical talent that we have here in St. Mary's. So to open this season, we've chosen Nicole Van Massenhoven, otherwise known as William's daughter. Hello, Nicole. Hello, Frank. You call yourself William's daughter. Why is that? Why? The easy answer is my dad's name is Bill, or William. The longer-ish answer is the last name of a lot of artists that are an inspiration to me as well. Tell us a story of how you started in the music business. I started young as a kid singing. Music has always been a part of my family. But my story as William's daughter actually starts uh, when I moved back to St. Mary's in 2019. And moving home triggered something and I was writing songs faster than I could think. Where do those songs come from? Within. Definitely personal experience um, and like kind of like they're a healing power. So things I go through or feel, I just sing about them and let them out. Okay, tell me, where do you want this journey to end? I don't want it to end. <laughs> I, I can see myself, you know, I want to travel and I want to take my music on the road someday. Hopefully within the next three years, I'll have a full length album and I'll be able to tour it and, you know. Oh, yes, I know you don't want it to end because it really is just beginning. And, you know, there's a lot of musicians like myself that started off the same way as you, young lady. Uh, and, you know, but you have to pay your dues. You have to do your thing and obviously write some pretty songs like you're doing right now. So I believe you're well on your way, and it could be the journey of your life, which I certainly hope it will be. And I know we'll be hearing more about William's daughter in the future. Okay? So... Tell us about the song you're going to be singing right now. So the song I'm going to be singing is called All I Know. It's my debut single, um, first music that I ever released um, into the world. And I wrote it at after midnight on New Year's Eve uh, going into 2020. So 2019 to 2020. I sat on the end of my bed and I was thinking about the things I had accomplished and the things I still want to do. And traveling was one of them. So... Okay, sounds great. So, ladies and gentlemen, here she is. Without further ado, William's daughter singing her original composition, All I Know. Stay hard and a 
Don, you're not dressed the same way you were at the tennis court. What are you talking about, John? Your clothes are different. John, I'm a professional. I'm going to maintain continuity in a shot. You must know that. Don, I think our wardrobe department is working overtime. <laughs> it's, it's pretty obvious that the uh, budget for costumes at the front porch show is pretty, pretty small. So send your donations in to the Front Porch Show, Post Office Box 2487, St. Mary's, Ontario, N4X1A3. We'll accept cash or clothing donations. Thank you very much. Well, well how can we end on a better note than that, guys? Wow, well, baby, was that fun or what? It well, certainly was great back to be back on the front porch there, Frank. Yeah, well, come here. it is. Look come at here, this. We got a wild dog come in here. the back. We got a wild dog here. How are you, Taya? By the seat of our pants. Here we go, right? Okay. Uh, John, what do uh, what, you think, John? Uh, Joseph, uh, obviously What's this... What's going this, on? Our audio operator here. Obviously, the show is over. Uh, we'd like to thank you for coming. Can we pay him by the hour? Is that why? Is, oh, look, no. I'm going to double his salary, I think. No, my uh, God. But anyways, thanks for showing up. You better front porch show. It. Well, at least he took away John's microphone. That was that was the smart move. Well, John, I guess it's up to me to wrap it up then, because because nobody nobody else can talk. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can you play the right hand for hey. that? I'm losing myself hey. here. Hey, I. I'm, I'm, I was born in Ontario, place to stand, a place to grow from Pickle Lake to Point Pelee. There's no place I'd rather be than my hometown they call Stone Town, prettiest town for miles around, where little falls laugh and people share smiles, treat you like family. Home, St. Mary's, St. Mary's home. St. Mary's. St. Mary's home to me.